those of us who work, live, and play in the Puget Sound area are blessed with some of the most magnificent natural surroundings in the world. Most of us want to keep those surroundings as pristine as possible. That's just one reason why residents of King County have been leaders in waste reduction and recycling for over two decades. Many times each day, we all make decisions whether to throw our waste in the garbage can or the recycling bin. Nearly 90% of us who live in King County use our bins to recycle newspaper, mixed paper, cardboard, plastic, tin cans, and aluminum cans. Recycling is a great way to reduce waste, save money, and help the environment. But have you ever wondered what happens to all those items you put into your recycle bin? Every weekday, more than 100 recycling trucks roll into King County neighborhoods to pick up over 668 tons of materials. That's about the same weight as 17 737s. In many areas, yard and food waste is also picked up separately from other recyclables. In King County, nearly one and a half million people participate in the recycling process. Once the trucks have picked up your recyclables, they are taken to one of several recycling facilities. Here, the trucks empty their loads, which are transferred to conveyor belts to be separated. Non-recyclables are removed first and sent to a trash compactor. Mechanical screens separate cardboard, then newspaper, then mixed paper. Quality control sorters remove unwanted items. Glass is broken into small pieces and separated. Next, a magnetic belt removes steel cans. A perforator flattens plastic and aluminum containers. Sorters then separate plastics by type. An eddy current system removes the aluminum cans. All materials are then baled and shipped for domestic and international markets for processing into recycled content products. Contamination can be a serious problem at recycling facilities. Sorting so many different materials is quite a job. It's important to companies that buy recycled materials that no other materials are mixed in. Putting any non-recyclables in your bin decreases the quality of processed materials, making them less valuable to manufacturers who might want to buy them. Contamination also increases the recycling costs because it takes more labor to remove contaminants by hand. Removing these non-recyclable items can be so cost prohibitive that it can mean entire loads end up going to the landfill instead of being recycled. We can give our garbage a second chance by making sure we put only what is recyclable into our bins. Plastic packing peanuts, stretch wrap, plastic cups, Plastic plates and utensils are not recyclable. Shredded paper and disposable diapers are also contaminants. Ceramic dishes, drinking glasses, light bulbs, aerosol cans, and paint cans are not recyclable. Some materials, such as food waste and paper soiled with food, can be recycled in a separate yard waste collection container. Check with your garbage service provider to see if this service is offered in your neighborhood. The real beauty of recycling is that you help the environment by saving natural resources while putting your waste to work to make new products. Not only does it make sense to reuse existing resources rather than virgin materials, but it can be very cost effective as well. Today's recycled newspaper comes back again and again for you to read, yet again. 
cellulose insulation, sheetrock surfacing, egg cartons, and phone books are also made from recycled newspaper. Recycling one ton of paper saves the equivalent of 17 trees, keeps 60 pounds of pollutants out of the air, saves 7,000 gallons of water, and enough energy to power an average home for six months. Recycled cardboard is made into new cardboard and products like paper grocery bags. Mixed paper is recycled to make writing paper, tissue, and cereal boxes. The aluminum in tin cans that you recycle become new cans. This process saves the many natural resources that are used in making the cans from scratch. Recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to run a computer for three hours. Your recycled plastic containers are used to produce new plastic containers, carpet, fleece clothing, and plastic lumber for products like garden benches and decks. Recycling five plastic bottles provides enough material to make an extra-large t-shirt. Glass bottles and jars are made into new glass bottles and jars and fiberglass insulation. Every glass bottle recycled saves enough energy to light a 100-watt light bulb for four hours. The yard and food waste, which is picked up in many King County neighborhoods, is used by Cedar Grove to make compost. Think of it as your grass, leaves, pizza boxes, and coffee grounds returning to your own yard to make your garden grow. Talk about rebirth. Throughout the Puget Sound area, companies are producing exciting products from those materials you recycle. At Tiger Mountain Innovations, recycled materials such as paper and crushed glass are mixed with cement and other materials to create beautiful kitchen countertops. Tri-Vitro Corporation uses recycled glass to create flooring for buildings like Safeco Field, SeaTac Airport, and the Seattle Justice Center. Crushed glass is also used for water filter systems at facilities like the Weyerhaeuser King County Aquatic Center and at aquariums, as well as stormwater and industrial water treatment facilities. Although King County residents are doing a good job of recycling, we can do even better. Each of us still generates about four and a half pounds of garbage a day. That adds up to nearly 90,000 pounds in a lifetime. In King County alone, that's a legacy of enough garbage to fill Safeco Field 33 times. And even though we recycle as well as we do, 75% of what we send to the landfill still has recyclable value. So give your garbage a second chance. It could come back as a kitchen counter, a fleece jacket, a garden bench, or even a floor at SeaTac. There is no end to what your recyclables can become. By recycling, you will be instrumental in helping create new products while keeping the Puget Sound area a great place to live.